Welcome back to Zidonauts 2. Let's get started with this UFO crash site. But before we do that, something that was pointed out to me, something I have massively overlooked, is we don't have a radar array in our new base, which is a huge issue. So I'm gonna get one of those placed down. I think I'm just gonna put it here for now. We're gonna kind of like set up a square here. I already talked about how I wanted there to be a choke point here, and then I went and put the missile launcher adjacent to this, which has broken the idea of there being a choke point. Um, so that wasn't very good of me, but we'll just kind of build out some stuff here. I think we'll put some hangars along here. So I'm gonna put the radar here. Um, I We will have enough power for that first radar. It'll be available in 15 days. That was a huge oversight. Let's now dispatch our team. We already got them together last time. Um, just to quickly reiterate our squad, we've got User Not Found and Game of Cain coming with shields. We've got Lore, of course, coming along in a heavy weapons presence role. We've got three assaults for this mission, Cool S and Arnders are coming with um, accelerated shotguns. We've got Neurosturgeon coming with a normal shotgun. We've got Flesh Pocket returning as our sniper. And then we've got uh, Winning, Winning Back and uh, Alarmed Response coming as our two riflemen medics. Uh, that's the squad. Let's see how we go. We launch the combat team. We know what we want. Just need to make sure that we don't arrive at night time. Uh, let's speed up time a little bit. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's get in here. This is going to be a quite a fun mission. We're going to be dealing with a lot of aliens for the first time. I'm going to try and capture a couple of them if we can. But let's see what we do. We also need these alien alloys because they will let us build more advanced weapons and soon armor. I'll see you on the battlefield. Okay. Normal mission briefing, limited our hostile units. One thing the new milestones have added is that if we eliminate all the units in the UFO and hold it for three turns, we also complete the mission. But we do want to try and capture and kill as many aliens as possible because we need those alloys. Let's begin the mission and see what our drop site's like. Okay, good news is there's no aliens in view as we land. Looks like we're in the middle of the map. So finding a corner and working from that will be important. We've got some ruins here. We've got a road over here. The road might give us a nice open path to move along. But first things first, let's just check for aliens behind the ship. No sign of anybody there. No sign of anybody there, okay. So we've got a little bit of a safe area. There's obviously this big unexplored area over here. Um, and there is a lake here, which could be good or bad. And there's a space here where an alien could hide. I'm gonna bring... Now, one thing I need to be very aware of is that alarmed response and when hitting back, um, when it both don't have heavy armor. So they are a little bit more susceptible to damage than other members of the team. But let's bring you to not found out and check this way. That looks clear. Let's bring Game of Keen out and check this way. That's looking clear. Okay, clear so far. We should be very careful. I'm gonna bring User Not Found up to this rock. Uh, we found a Sabellian. Okay, so right up against the edge of the map, there is an enemy. I should have 10% chance to hit him, which is great. Uh, now, the temptation, obviously, is to run the sniper out to here, take the shot, but the sniper is then completely vulnerable to attacks along this avenue here. There's also this cover here, which I don't think the sniper can get to and fire from, but leaves them open to attacks from here. So we need to think about that really carefully. This civilian isn't active yet, so I can spend a turn kind of setting up. Let's just see what's going on on this side of the dropship. This cover here seems like a pretty good place to put my shield. I will check over here. Okay, there's a, there's a civilian here, so if there is an alien here, they'll attack the civilian, that'll tell us that they're there. And here's the other edge of the map, and it looks like there's just foliage at this corner, so I'm pretty confident saying there's no aliens behind us. So let's look this way, it's looking pretty clear. Okay, I wanna check around here, so I'm gonna bring Win and Ning back to here, and see what they see. Okay, there's a civilian there who's going to distract this civilian next turn. We still don't have a full picture on this area here, Let's bring Cool S potentially to here where they can watch this avenue. I don't want to put them here because it exposes them to the civilians. So this is hard cover, well not hard cover, this is medium cover against this guy. Even though they've got no cover against this direction, they will have enough to reaction fire if there is somebody here. And I'm going to crouch them so they can shoot at anyone who's coming through this area. Let's bring Anders. Uh, can I bring Game of Cain up to here? Okay, still no sign of any aliens. Let's bring Anders up to here where we're pretty safe. I'm going to put Flesh Pocket here for a shot next turn. We'll crouch them in anticipation. And then I'm gonna also, I think we need two shotguns in these ruins, so I'm gonna bring Neurosturgeon up to here as well. Oh, Neurosturgeon has spotted an Sabellian and a local hero with a shotgun. Okay, let's keep moving you into cover. Turn this way, crouch. Um, that just leaves Lore. Laura can crash through these walls, which is always a cool move. Um, for now, I'm gonna put Laura here. Where Laura doesn't have line of sight on the alien, but if he moves, they will. And then we also, of course, have alarmed response, so I'm gonna put him to cover here. 
where they can shoot at anyone who comes out of cover. So that's us just deploying out of the ship. I'm going to leave User Not Found standing so that if the civilian does turn in this direction, they're the highest, most likely to shoot at target because they have the lowest defense because they're not crouching. Let's end the turn and see what happens. I'm guessing that this guy's going to get shot. Ooh, okay, that was a melee attack. We got a shot from Lore. Second melee attack, 75 damage on that melee attack. That's terrifying. Okay. Reaction fire on the civilian. He's missed. We're missing two. I think he's just moved out of the sniper rifle. Yeah, okay, he's moved out of the sniper rifle. Right, that's where we have a shotgun. He has no TU left though, so we can sneak up on him. Oh, there's another alien in the woods there, and there's definitely not an alien back here. Unless that shot was a civilian, actually, but I think it was an alien that fired. It sounded like an accelerated rifle. Okay, let's use um, we're needing back to identify where the civilian is. Okay, we can't see him. Step out. Look, he's right there. Okay, so we've got a 51% chance to hit him here. We may as well try because we want to try and kill this guy or capture him this turn. We need to do a lot of damage to attempt to capture him. If I take this shot, though, I'm committing to, to killing him this turn because there's no way they can move back into cover after this. Okay, that's a hit. Didn't see how much damage that was because that's how the game works at this difficulty. That's an 82% damage. I'm not going to try and capture the first one I see. I want to make sure that I can kill them pretty quickly because I don't know how tough they are in this uh, milestone. So I'm going to run up and shoot, shoot them in the back with a shotgun. Okay, so it's not too hard to kill them. That's good to know. It is actually a, a good bit of fact finding. We're going to try and maybe capture this one. Let's just start off maybe throwing a smoke grenade into here. Um, that should just start to build up a little bit of stun on him. It's quite low, actually. I think they have lowered the amount that stun grenades do. Um, let's bring you to here, user not found. Get me a little bit more vision on this area. Let's shift flesh pocket to here. Actually, I'll put them here. Just so they're covering in this direction. Um, I don't really want to come around this corner with these units yet, so I'm just going to put Neurosturgeon on the corner here. They can actually see the alien now. And I'm going to put Lore here. Where I can just peek into anyone kind of coming along this, this avenue here. I do want to move this unit forward too as well. So I think I'd like to take and hold this line. Um, there is, obviously we need to make sure there's nobody here. So I could probably come around here with my rifleman, bring the shield up and the shotgun up here. Let's get Game of Cain up to here first. See what they can see. All right. No sign of any aliens here or here. There is a big lake here. Um, there isn't a lot of spaces undetected here, but I am a bit worried there will be someone there. Let's move um, alarm response over to this ute. Still can't see everything. Let's move them here. Okay, there's one square left. Do I take the risk? How far around do I need to be to see it? So I think I need to be like here to see into that square. I could... Yeah, I need to be in that square there to see that. So let's just crouch here and see if anything comes around the corner next turn. And let's bring um, Sergeant Anders up to cover our shield here. I'm gonna crouch you because you're not tanking for anybody right now. And I think everybody has moved. So let's end the turn. Just gonna take this nice and slow and steady. Okay, took a little bit more stun damage, obviously not a lot. That's fine, they're taking a little bit of damage means he's easy to knock out. Okay, alien coming out of the mist deep in the back area there. Somewhere here now. Okay, that is an alien in there. Oof, Neurosturgeon is now bleeding out, that's not good. 46 damage, damn. So we've got two aliens in the ruins here. Okay, how much health does Neurosturgeon have left? And how far can they move this turn? Because I can get this bleeding turn. Okay, they've still got all of their movement. Um, so let's just, can I get them here? I can get them almost to there. Can I get them here? And if I move you to here, you don't have enough. Okay, so I probably need to get them here. Let's just run Neurosturgeon to here. They should be close enough to get a heal. And then if I move you to here, we still got enough to you for the medkit, cool. So when anything back, we'll prevent the bleeding. Okay, so now Neurosturgeon is no longer bleeding out. That was a nasty hit. That was a very nasty hit. You've got seven TU left. Can you get in here? No. Let's just let's just turn you and crouch you. You don't even have to crouch, okay. So we've got one alien here. We've got another alien back here. 
I would like to knock him out, but I don't have any shotguns too close right now. And honestly, there's, with there being two active aliens, I kind of just want to kill one of them and then deal with the other one. I think I want to just fire a rocket into this area to clear out these walls. Okay, that gives me line of sight on this guy. Do you have a shot? You do, but our shield is in the way. Let's move the shield to here. And let's just kill this alien. Okay, he's actually still up. He is now a great candidate for being knocked out. Um, there's no way Cool S can get a hit on him this turn, though. So let's flashbang him. So Cool S, can you flash? 59% from there. If I put you here, that is a 83 and you're in cover. So I like that throw. Okay, he is now suppressed. He has low to you. The biggest concern right now is if he runs forward and, and melee attacks you are not found. That's my biggest concern. Or he just comes forward and shoots Neurosturgeon who's not in cover and has no cover. Um, do you have enough TU le left to guard? Yeah, let's bring you down here. You're going to act as a shield for Neurosturgeon just to be safe. Um, everybody over here is active. We've still got Game of Keen hasn't done anything yet. Anders hasn't done anything yet. And of course, Alarm Response hasn't done anything left yet. I'm confident there isn't an alien there because nobody moved out of those bushes last turn. So let's start moving this team forward. Can you get to here this turn? You can, okay. Let's bring our shield forward to here and let's bring you forward to here. And then we'll just get to face this way. My shotgun, I'm gonna bring to here and just check this way. So you're gonna cover anything that comes from this way and then we're gonna put Game of Cain in front of you to act as a human shield. Um, so they're protecting from this angle and this angle, and you're watching there. And I think we're okay. We have one active alien over here, but I think we're okay. Maybe not. Okay, he's taking a lot of damage, which is good. He's just stepped out of cover. Don't have a shot on him. He's getting very close to us, so he's just here. And then this guy who was suppressed, that's him out of actions. Okay, that's good. Oh, they heal every turn, of course. That's gonna make capturing him a little bit harder. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is kill this alien if we can. Um, so I'm gonna fire a rocket right here in an attempt to destroy his cover, damage him, but not hurt the one in the back. Okay, he is melted. We now get the opportunity to try and beat this one up. Do I have a melee attack? I do. It's a little bit risky, but I'm gonna take it. Okay, that did not knock him out, and I'm out of melee attacks on that character. So we're just gonna have to shoot this guy and try and pick somebody up in the UFO. Um, I don't think I've got it. I do have a shot from there, so let's take that shot. Flesh pocket with the kill. Okay, I had to take that shot because, um, oh, that actually knocked him out. That was very lucky. Now, Cool S is in a little bit of a problem. I don't think I can bring Lore up to cover Cool S, but what I can do is I can bring User Not Found up to act as a shield. Um, can I crouch you? I can. So user not found is now going to be the cover for um, Cool S. Let's get Lore just up to the wall. Let's bring Neurosturgeon up. Let's bring um, Winnin back here. They can watch this angle for me. I think they've got a line of sight through here. They do. So they can watch this just in case anyone comes through here. And they've got enough for an aim shot if they react with it. Now we do also have an alien here, which is a little bit scary. Can't see him from there. If I bring you to here, there he is. So what I could try and do is shoot him in the back with Anders, right? Anders could get to here. That's an 84 times three. And then I've got a grenade to shoot at him if that fails. It just leaves Anders a little bit exposed. I could also put Anders here. I think that's a better position, but the, the chance to hit will be much lower. And I don't have the TU to do that. The other option is I flash him and then move into position. So we, what we do is we get Alarmed Response. Alarmed Response doesn't have a flashbang. Um, Game of Kane hasn't got a flashbang. Sergeant Anders does have a flashbang. If I put Anders here, they can throw the flashbang. So if I put Anders there and throw the flash. That puts them under control a little bit. I'm having, I know people are complaining that I'm using a lot of flashbangs, but you can't deny that they are very, very useful. I'm wondering if we move Alarmed Response to here um, to cover him if he comes around this way, and then we've got this team on this side. The other option is to throw a grenade, but I don't want to do that if I can avoid it. So they're crouching cover here. He is 
suppressed. He's the only active alien we've got right now. Do you have a shot on him? Just take the shot. Okay, just wanted to see if that did anything. Let's end the turn. Okay, we've got an alien right here. It feels like they are heading towards the UFO, which I was under the impression they wouldn't do anymore. So that's a bit scary, right? This guy here and this guy here are a problem. Game of Cain luckily didn't take too much damage there. Um, you haven't got a shot from there. If I move you here, you don't have a shot. If I move you here, you do have a 96%. Um, or you could fire a burst of 33 times 3. I think two of those hit? No, one of them hits. One of them hits on the burst. So I think I take the aim shot. Okay, that did hit him. Now, what I want to do is, if I can, I want to kill him with Gamma Kane so that Anders can deal with this guy. So we're going to throw a grenade with Gamma Kane to try and kill him. Crap. Now, I would really prefer not to kill them with grenades because I want to get the alloys. Okay, that was a really important shot that Gamma Kane just took. Now, the question is, is what can I do with Anders here to get a kill? 31 gives me one shot. That's not going to be enough to kill him. The other option is I move up. The other option really is that I flashbang him as well. I think we just take the flashbang. 75, 82, 90. I think I want to throw it here. Okay, he is suppressed. Um, and then can you make it to here? You can't. Can you move forward? You can move to here. And then you can come up behind him. That gets you a little bit further forward for next turn. You've actually got a shot still, but you obviously don't want to shoot through him. So I'm just going to turn Overwatch off on your shotgun, and I'm going to crouch you. Uh, then we've got the rest of the team over here who haven't done anything yet. So I kind of want to get up to this wall. There's actually not great cover in here. There's cover here. Let's um, let's bring user not found up to this cover and see what they can see. Okay, there's cover here as well, but I think I maybe want to stack on this wall right now. So let's bring Cool S with their shotgun up to here. Let's bring Neurosturgeon with their shotgun up to here. Let's get Lore up to here. Let's bring Winning back up to here. And let's get Flesh Pocket. The eventual goal will be to get them on this corner. Actually, they can get to this corner this turn. And then they can watch this angle. So the UFO must be here. All right, I think we're going to end the turn. We're just going to make sure this guy doesn't kill anyone. Okay, good, he missed. Definitely hear a Mentark Mentarking about. Civilians do definitely feel like they're running towards the UFO, which I was told they would not do anymore. I guess they just want to get that, that be the first human to get a selfie with a UFO. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to step Gamma King to the side. Oh, good spot. There's an engineer over there. He was hiding. He was sneaking up behind us. Okay, we're going to deal with him in a second. Let's move Gamma King to here. And then we want to put... Anders here, we've got an 87 times 3, and I think that's what we want to take. Um, or I've got two 68 times 3. I think that's the better choice. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Found the UFO. Another alien back there. He's not a concern. Come here. Make sure you've got the 20 selected. Take the shot. And he's dead. Cool. I'm going to put you into full cover here, just so there's no worries of that guy shooting at you. And I'm going to put you in cover here. And then we need to deal with this guy over here, who is a threat. If I put you here, you've got cover from him and you've got a shot on him, a 90% chance to hit. Now that is with an aimed shot, but I'm quite happy to take the aimed shot here because I don't think he's a huge issue to fire back at us. Okay, damaged him, didn't kill him. That's messed up his accuracy quite badly. In terms of this team, ah, this is going to be really awkward to come around. We do also have an alien here we have to be aware of. Let's get... Um, I want to stack along here, but I've got these civilians in the way. Um, where can Winning Ning back? Can Winning Ning back? Okay, Winning Ning back's going to get to here. Okay, there's more foliage here. That's interesting. Let's put you here. Let's put you here. Let's bring Lore up. I'm just going to put Lore here. I'm going to get our shield here. And then our sniper, I think, is best suited here. So they've got the, actually, this isn't a great position for the sniper. Um, now that I look at it, let's get Neuro to here. We'll put the sniper here. Crouch you, turn you, crouch you, crouch you, turn you, crouch. No, leave you standing, oh, it doesn't matter. 
and then uh, you're fine there. Okay, everyone's gone. Biggest threat right now is this engineer, but I'm hoping the damage he's taken messes up his accuracy. Another alien coming out of the mist in the back. That's not good. He's in a really awkward location. Okay, he's just charging us down for the melee attack. Nope, just, just running. I think he might be panicking. Definitely a man talking that UFO. Okay, he is retreating, which is good. He is not retreating, which is not good. Stop taking cover locations for my troops. All right, first things first, I want to kill this engineer. If I put you here, you've got a really nice burst into his back. Yeah, we know that he's there. So I've got a 100% chance to hit, or I've got a 44 times three. Um, I want to take that 100%, I think. Okay, I thought that would be enough to kill him, but it wasn't. Uh, I really expected that to kill him. If I move you to here, you have a 47% chance to hit. And then another shot. I think I'll have to take those risks. Okay, neither of those hit. That's really bad. So we're going to have to rely on Anders here to get the kill for me. Um, Anders can run to here and not have a shot. Anders can run to here and get a 65 times 3. Please. Okay, he's dead. Excellent. And then we've got um, Game of Canes providing cover for Anders, theoretically, as well. So he is a problem up there. Now, this team around here can't really help out with that situation. Let's get our shield up. So user not found up to here. Okay, we've got an alien, a live alien in the wild over here. How can we deal with him? When an Ingbat can move here, I think I want to put my Sniper here for next turn. This next turn he'll have a shot. Um, we'll crouch you. I've got another rock here. So if I put when an Ingbat here. Oh, reaction shot. Should have seen that coming. Put you in cover here. That's really messed up your accuracy. That was just a little bit stupid. I've got lore available. I've got two shotguns. Um, I do have one flashbang grenade left. I think I definitely want to flash this guy. If I move you here, you've got a 70%, 78, 86. I want to throw there. Okay, there's a suppression. That's good. And then cool S. This would be a great place to put cool S, but I don't know if this area here is safe. So let's bring cool S to here. Okay, it looks safe. Let's find out if it's safe. Yeah, it's safe. Okay, turn you this way. All right, so we've got the team deployed for next turn. The only person who hasn't moved yet is Lore. I'm going to bring Lore up to here. And just, we're just going to fire a rifle shot at this guy. Yeah, I wasn't actually expecting that to hit. I'm impressed that it did. Um, User Not Found still has TU. That's too far. I'm just going to bring User Not Found to here for next turn. And let's end the turn. As far as I know, there's two active aliens outside the UFO. This guy here is a concern. He's getting a flank. Okay, he didn't have enough TU to shoot. That's very lucky. That was a really good shot, actually, from him. What is the civilian doing? All right, we need to deal with this guy here. So let's turn you to find out where he's gone. He's in cover here. This is actually a really easy kill. So I just do this, yeah. <laughs> Easy kill. Okay, it was a kill in the end. Right, we can now bring this team over this way. So alarmed response can not get to there. Can not get to there. So I'm supposed to have to end their turn here. And we'll put Game of Cain here. And that's the UFO there. Uh, do you have a shot? You do. Let's get take the shot. Not dead. Do you have a shot? 43%. Take again. Okay, it's two misses. Now we're onto the shotguns. Let's bring Cool S up to here. And finish him off. Wow. Okay, he is tanking everything I'm throwing at him. You do not have a shot. Hmm. I could drive you to here and you'll have an aim shot for 76% chance to hit. Come on, Laura. I need you to need you to hit this. Okay, Laura got the kill for us. That's great. 
Uh, let's now put user not found in cover here, and I'm going to, I would really like to put him here, but Neurosturgeon's Sturgeon's going to have to sit in cover here. And we'll leave user not found standing up. Uh, we'll crouch cool S. Uh, winning back and flesh pocket don't really have the TU to move. Um, and that's everybody. Okay, we just need to get ready for the breach on the UFO now. And I'm hoping there's just the Mentark inside. Okay, he's finally pulling back. I want to put the sniper right here and then be the rifleman next to him. So I want an end, uh, sorry, I want flesh pocket right here. And I want my rifleman in this slot here, but he won't have enough TU to get there. So let's just finish his turn here. And then I want to start stacking my shields on either side of the door with shotguns behind them. So I want to start bringing these guys up as well. So Anders will end up here. Anders actually has enough TU to get there, which is great. And then we're going to put um, Alarm Response here. So stacking up on the doors, getting ready to move in. Lore can also... Uh, move here, but I don't want them to destroy the cover. Actually, Lore will end up where Neurosturgeon is. So let's bring Neurosturgeon to here as well. And then Lore can go here. And then that just leaves that. So we're just going to set up for one more turn and then we're going to go in. Doors does not expect the door to open. I am just realized how terrible my layout is, but I wasn't actually expecting to get into a fight. But they are all shooting across each other, which is not good. There goes the shield. Careful, everybody, please. Ooh, that was a plasma shot from the Mentark. Okay. That went live a lot earlier than I expected it to. I was still setting up. I didn't want to get into a firefight there. That's why you don't do that, because it was. I'm very lucky that that shotgun shot didn't fly across and hit my own team. I need to stop setting up in doorways like that. So the door just closed, which is exceptionally rude. Um, you've taken a little bit of damage. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to uh, put Winning back into position here. Um, they've still got 20 TU. I'm going to open the door with uh, User Not Found. So we've got two enemies and a Mentark. I'm just going to fire a rocket in here. Although I don't destroy all the stuff though. That's a good point. I don't want to destroy the stuff. Um, can you kill him? Okay, the answer to that question was no. I actually have one more shot. Okay, the answer to that question was indeed no. Can you get the kill for me with your pistol? Uh, no. Okay. Still alive. If I put you here, you've got a shot. Okay, he's down. I'm going to get you to shoot at him too. Okay, that was a good hit. Can you step to here? And then we'll put the other shotgun here. So using the shield as portable cover here. You got one more? Okay, he's taking a lot of damage, but he's not dead yet. We do still have Anders, but Anders hasn't got an angle right now. I can crouch Game of Cain and put Anders here, where they've got... And then I might just throw a smoke in the doorway to prevent any plasma fire just killing my set of people here. We do also still have access to alarmed response as well. Um, they can go behind this guy potentially. I don't think they've got a good chance to hit though. We'll just set them up in case somebody comes through the door and we'll end the turn. I know that Lore, actually Lore, I should maybe just fire some rifle pot shots with Lore, but I don't want to. Just worried about these plasma shots, that's my only concern. There's another alien back there, it's like a clown car. Okay, Mentark is terrifying. It's not doing anything. God, I thought there was going to be an alien coming out of the bushes there. I was really worried for a second. Okay. I would like to get a flashbang through the door this turn. We've got a flashbang on user not found. Um, who else has a flashbang? My shotgunners do, but I don't really want to use them to do that. It's really that. The nice thing about the shotguns and my shotgunners is they're not affected by the smoke too badly. So let's just throw the flashbang. Oh, we don't have enough TU to throw the flashbang because you got suppressed last turn. Okay, that's a problem. 
I do obviously have a flashbang on Cool S, but the plan here is to run Cool S in and shoot people. Um, let's see if we can get the kill on this guy. Okay, he's down. So that's one. And I don't think we've got a good angle on the flashbang from here, unfortunately, because the Mentarch's in this back corner here. I doubt that Flesh Pocket has a good shot. 16% because of the smoke. If I put you here, can you flashbang into the back of this? You can flashbang there, which is going to get the Septilian, but not, not the Septilian, I forgot their names, but not the Mentark, which is the concern here. The Mentark is a big problem. The other, thing, the other attempt, the thing I do is I rush and take cover here and try and shoot them, but I don't think I win that firefight. Can I close the door? Can't close the door, okay. So we've got Neurosturgeon available. We've still got Cool S available. I would prefer not to use shotguns in this environment if I can avoid it because the shotguns will destroy stuff. 8% chance to hit with winning and back. I wonder if I just stack up. Um, let's get Game of Kane out of there. They're not doing anything. Let's bring Anders back to this position here. So they're covering the doorway this way and they're crouching. Uh, where's my other, my other reference here? I'm actually going to put Winning back. Winning back is on 9 HP. Let's get them out of the direct line of fire. Put them here and crouch them. So we're all covering this angle. Then I've got my two shotgunners um, kind of covering this angle. So if they come out or come around the corner, I've got safe shots. So if I turn your surgeon this way and I've got Cool S facing this way, any movement gets me a shot. And then we'll wait for the smoke to dissipate. That's fine. Lord doesn't need to do anything this turn. Now that his flesh pocket. Oh, alarmed response can actually move to here. Okay, let's see what happens. That's what I wanted to avoid, was damaging the equipment. Good hit. And we got the kill. Okay, that worked. That Overwatch trap kind of worked. I thought that was the Mentark coming out the side of the UFO there. Okay, so all that's left in here is the Mentark, and he's in the one square I can't see. Now, User Not Found has the TU this turn to flash the back. Huh. Were Mentarks always immune to flashbangs, or is that something new for this update? Because I don't remember that being an issue before. So if I put cool so cool S, does cool S have cool S has a rebreather? So I can put cool S here, they'll have a 32 times 3. I can put cool S here, they'll have an 80 times 3. Let's take that 80 times 3. Okay. Do I think that's enough to attempt to knock this guy out and capture him? Because if I get this wrong, we're probably gonna lose a soldier. I would really like to capture a Mentark on our first mission. I've hit him with two shotgun shells. I've got one hit with a melee attack on this Mentark. I can't suppress it apparently. I've got a feeling this isn't enough. If it isn't enough, I'll come up with a solution to the problem. Let's just move, user not found, I can't, okay. I wonder if he's not found out of the way. Let's just come in here and hit him. Uh, you're out of TU. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna hit him and see what happens. Come on, you're a sturgeon. I want a really big crit here. Right. I assumed because Cool S was able to move into this position without being shot that it was an okay avenue to do, but what's actually happened is because I fired, it's turned around, and now we have lost Neurosturgeon. I am so sorry. That was a really awful oversight on my part, and we've now lost a soldier because of that. Um, I do have another shot here. It's a 39 times 3. It's not great. There's no way we've got a melee attack. No. We're just going to come in here and attempt to shoot the, the Mentark. I'm so sorry, Neurosturgeon. That was just really, really bad. Oh, he's got a second shot. Okay, I'm throwing soldiers away now. This is the problem with Mentarks. They are really scary. I need to get this kill. Um, I can get Lore in. Lore needs 34 for a burst. 26 here. That's what. No chance to hit from there. 17 is the absolute least I can give you. It's a 42% chance to hit. 
It's really not good enough to gamble off, but it gets me some cover. It means I'm gonna destroy the console, but I don't think I can afford to end the turn as is, unfortunately. Not enough to kill it. Okay, alarmed response can come to here and get one shot at 34% chance to hit. I've really messed this up really badly. Why are Mentark so scared? It's because they've got plasma. It's because they've got plasma at the start of the game where they can just one-shot soldiers. Do we think Game of Ken can do anything here? It's not really enough. It's not even enough for one shot from there. Um, when an impact's too far away, it kind of comes down to whether or not Alarm Response can, can, can drop it on a 34%, which I don't think they can. Um... And this is the only position they can do it from. Unless, I guess I could put them behind Cool S. Actually, if I step Cool S, oh, it's too late now because I crouched them. Put you here, which oh, you don't have a chance to hit from there. You're out of TU. Um, Flesh Pocket could come in with a pistol. They'll have 24. That's a 56% chance to hit. Well, they hit. They did not kill. They did not kill. From here, you don't have a shot. 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 From here, you're going to most likely hit a teammate. Game of Cain, it might actually come down to you. You've got a 30... No. You've got a 24% chance to hit from here. This is so bad. I'm really upset. I'm really unhappy about this situation. That's a miss. So all I've got left is winning Ning back, and I've got Lumb Response. So what we're going to try and do, I think we're gonna have to try and throw either a grenade or a smoke grenade. And that's if I can get close enough to throw it. But looking at this, it's not gonna happen, is it? I need 30 TU for a smoke grenade. From here, you can throw a smoke. There's a very high chance of hitting teammates. 100% chance to land there with a 25% deviation. Let's try that. This is really all I can think about, think of to try and get out of the situation. Okay, it is in the smoke, which at least will reduce its accuracy. Let's just bring winning back up to here. And let's see how many people we lose to this Mentark. That's okay if you go unconscious. Okay, it left the smoke. Miss. And it's bleeding. Okay, the only thing we can do here is hope that Neurosturgeon's death wasn't in vain and we capture this bloody thing. Let's move you to here so that it's easier for Kules to get in with a melee attack. Come on, you've taken so much damage. Just go down. So the problem there was in my desperation to not destroy any of the equipment, I ended up losing a Xenonaut. But we've gotten very lucky and the med bay has saved Neurosturgeon. They're out for 22 days, but they're not dead. Flesh Pocket's injured for 11 days, Game of Kane's injured for 15 days, Anders is injured for 14 days, Winning Back is injured for 13 days. So the this primary team is in not a great situation. However, we've got 60 Millennium, we captured a Mentark, we captured a Sibelian, we've got 36 alien alloys and 12 alien mag weapons. So that's better than nothing. That's not terrible. Let's get them back. Okay, we've got access to Elenium now. So it's a new energy source. We've seen this before. Again, if you want to read it, pause it. I read it out on my first playthrough. Um, and we've got details on the UFO Scout, which is now going to start showing up in the air and it's a little bit scarier. Um, we can now interrogate a Mentark, we can interrogate a Sibelian and we can autopsy a Sibelian. Um, I think we are still researching Warden Combat Armor, however. I can also sell my junk, so that's going to sell off 12 alien mag weapons. I'm going to assume we don't need these for anything. I'm just going to sell off the cleaner data. No, it's not going to sell off the cleaner data. Hang on, what are we selling here? Yes, it wants to sell off the cleaner data. Do I want to sell this? The game says I can. Let's sell it and see what happens. I've got one captured Mentark. I don't want to sell those. They are not junk. Um, is the cleaner data something I want to sell? I'm 
just, I'm not sure if I want to sell the cleaner data or not. Let's not sell anything right now, because I, I feel like I might need the alien mag weapons for some research as well. We can now research um, Alenium Power and the Quantum Teleportation projects. And there's a UFO somewhere up here in North America, I've just noticed. Okay, let's get time moving forward again. That was a bit nasty. But we're okay. Nobody died, and that's the main thing. It was just very, very scrappy at the end. Okay, we've got ourselves an accelerated sniper rifle. That's great. And we have a UFO. It is a small UFO, which means that it is going to be a um, another crash site. We're at 66% health, so this is going to be quite a difficult fight. Um, I think we're still quite far. We're actually a really long way from our second aircraft being built. I think I want to launch for this. It's going to be very difficult to win. Uh, Griffin was on an intercept for UFO 5, but turns me on Rage. Um, okay, let me just check. Dial our speed up. So we've actually lost sight of the alien. Oh, they've landed. Oh, this landed UFO is lighting into environmental technology and resources. We can send a combat team to capture, to limit the crew and capture UFO before it takes off. This mission will be more difficult and have greater rewards in the crash site as both the UFO and the crew are undamaged. Right. This is a big one. We've actually got a, a landed UFO very early on in the campaign. We do not have access to our A-team. We're going to have to send in a little bit more of a risky squad here. Let me put a squad together and we'll discuss what our plans are for this mission. I'll be right back. Okay, got the team together for this mission. We're going in pretty hard. I've got Usenot Found and Pageboy Sam coming in as shield uh, soldiers. Both of them are carrying a spare shotgun and ammo which they will dump in the Sky Ranger at the start of the mission. If they lose their shields or we're getting ready to breach the UFO, they'll go back to the um, Sky Ranger, pick up the weapon and come to the front line. So that's fine. Lore is of course coming along. Lore is invaluable at the moment, doing so much work for us. I've got Cool S coming as an assault. Cool S is so strong they can carry um, seven grenades plus um, a rebreather and a stun baton, which is just amazing. Um, they're in a great position. Two new soldiers are joining us for this mission. We've got Private Don Vincenzo, who can't carry as much and unfortunately didn't qualify for our other um, accelerated shotgun. And then I couldn't fit the full name in. This should be Jeremy Unga Clark Dad, which is a reference back to my Terra Invicta campaign. But this is Jezza Unga Clark Dad. I just have to remember the name. They're coming along as well. I've got Alarmed Response coming in as a sniper for this one because Flesh Pocket is recovering in the infirmary. Um, Alarmed Response is pretty strong as well, so they're bringing a lot of tactical gear which they may be able to help out with later in the mission. Um, they do also have our first accelerated sniper rifle. Um, we've got Corporal Tau and we've got Sergeant Juniper coming along as riflemen. I have decided to give them heavy armor for this mission, which they didn't have in the last mission. Just to make them a little bit more resilient, it does mean that they have less tactical options available to them though. I did also really want to bring along a breaching charge. Um, I may just pop that on Pageboy Sam to be dropped at the start of the mission as well, in case I want to try breaching the UFO so the door doesn't open and close all the time, especially because this is an undamaged UFO. Um, blowing the door open may just help us. So we're gonna to have to take this mission really, really carefully and slowly. Now, I am gonna hold this mission until our next video. Um, I think I definitely need a break before I do it because of how the end of that last mission ended, but I'm looking forward to it. It should be a pretty cool fight, and I hope you are too. I will see you in that video for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know that you're enjoying this series by liking um, or uh, giving me a comment um, just so that I know what's going on. I will get back to replying to comments soon. And uh, thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel, either through a channel membership, through donating through Super Chat or through Ko-Fi, or just by watching my videos and liking them. I really, really appreciate you so much. Have a wonderful day. I will see you soon. Catch you later. Ciao for now.